Hey guys, I'm Kadi here, and in today's video, we are going to make the Chrome Dinosaur game in Scratch. So everything is the same, like the cat will be moving and the cactus will be coming on a random axis, like one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So now let's make and then all of these games the cat will not the sprite will be not moving the back ground will be moving back side so for to do that we have to first create a ground we'll make a few humps Like this. We make one hump over here. And like this. So we made these humps because we have to show that it's moving and if it's a line then it we cannot show that it's moving. So first we'll go over here, drag a when flat click. drag a when flag clicked and we need this to stay over here when the flag is clicked so go to go to this place and now we need to make it go backwards so we have to make it move back 10 steps again and again forever move minus 10 steps and after a specific position we want it to go back to the front so let's see yeah this should be fine so we'll grab an if statement if the x position is more than minus 1 69 then go to let's say Uh, okay so we have to make this minus four uh, 75 let's say yeah so now we have a continuous loop but we have a big white space here so to fix that we stop it right here duplicate this go to here and but for this one we'll make it go to instead of this position we will make it go to um, 470 minus 70 so now we have this no white space between so now we have to make this cat running so to do that first when flag key clicked we want it to 
change costume so it looks like it's running next costume forever yep now we have to make the our cactus so we paint our sprite name let's make a simple cactus let's say this and we'll fill it with green this is not equal so it won't fill or i will just erase this and paint it with my paint brush i'll make this 100 fifty like this like this like this like this like this yep so now our cactus is ready i'll set this size to 50 now we we'll go to here and take this code drag it to our cactus and when it shakes like that means your code has gone to your cactus so but when we click this and see this so the the x axis of our cactus is far less than this so we will change this by minus 245 and set this set the y axis to minus 113 we'll even set this let's see if it works we didn't change this so minus One one three. Yes, and now we have to make it go a little back. And we'll go to our cat because this is very not like nothing is there over here, so. I'll make the score over here only. Rename variable score. Yep. So change score by one. If touching touching strike four, then. Set score to zero and stop all. And we have to even make the jump. So now when you see when I press the space bar, it won't jump. So to make it jump, when space key pressed, we need to. Change y by ten. 
रिपीट फिफ्टीन टाइम लेट से डुप्लीकेट दिस एंड माइनस टेन सो आई लीव इन सेट गो टू दिस प्लेस बन लेट सो नाउ यू कैन सी आर कैट जंप्स वेरी गुड बट This cactus doesn't appear on a random axis. So to do that, we'll go to our controls, grab a wait one second, go to operators, and a pick random from one to five seconds. So it will wait for one to five seconds, and then again come. Randomly, it will wait for five seconds or something. Then it will come back. We go here. <coughs> When green flag clicked, set score to zero. We will show our score. So now, as you can see, our dino game is ready. And let's just check once if our cactus is appearing on a random axis. So. One, two, three, four. I'm very bad at this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so our dino game works. perfectly and that was it for today's video if you like this video then like and subscribe down below and peace till my next video